Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, make a man see you as his number one priority, his number one priority. <laughs> All right. Um, obviously, I get a kick out of saying the title. Um, and it's how I shoot my thumbnails as well. Number one priority. <laughs> um, really quickly, if after this video, the content resonates with you and you go, God, I'd like to talk to this guy and get some dating advice, please check out the link for a free discovery call to see if working with a coach is right with right for you. It's a call with me. All right. Our topic, make him see you as your number one priority. All right, so we're going to lay out a couple different scenarios. You're in a two-month relationship, you're in a six-month relationship, and you're in a two-year relationship, okay, with a man. And I want you to think about this for a second, whether it's two months, six months, or two years. Most likely, if you're following my work, um, you're in midlife, which is after baby making years and before my before retirement. My specialty is midlife, although I do get a lot of women in their 20s and 30s seeking my advice. But most of the women who seek my advice are dating men in their 40s, 50s or 60s or even 70s. OK, so once you think about this, let's use 51 year old man, 51 year old man. You're dating him. You've gone on 10 dates. You've become intimate with each other. You're now moving into the second month of your relationship. I want you to think about this. Many of you have an expectation that all, all of a sudden you become his priority. You're on the top of the list of everything that happens because many of you put men as a priority. But here's the deal. He's had 51, 51 years less two months of a life that you didn't exist in his life. He might ha he has his work, he has his children, he has his parents, if they're still alive. He has his exercise routine. He's got his friends. He's got his video games. He occasionally has his porn, okay? All of these things were in his life before he ever met you. So one of the issues that I see with a lot of women is that they create this expectation that all of a sudden, since the relationship has begun, that they have to be the priority. In other words, the man always has to follow up with a text all the time to let her know that, you know, it's safe and that sort of thing. It's safe. It's safe. Why does it have to feel safe? Why can't? And what I mean to say is constant validation. So God forbid a guy or a girl is doing something that day and they don't reach out. This isn't the end of the world. It doesn't mean you're not a priority in his life, okay? I would like to shift the narrative from priority to important, important, because we have a list of priorities. How many of you have a to-do list that you have to start your day professionally? What's well, the same in, in our life. We have our to-do list and if, if your relationship is flat, you know, is in that two months, six months, or even two year range, two years is a significant relationship. But first, for those, for those two months, six month relationships, it's still a building phase of building trust, of building trust for, with one another. So that's the real question. How do you build trust with one another, the roots to trust to actually become a priority? Because many of you have created an expectation of being a priority without building the roots to get there. This is one of the reasons why I'm a big proponent of many of you reading the book by Barbara DeAngelis called How to Make Love All the Time. How to Make Love All the Time. She has written, by the way, look at how thick that book is. This is a thick ass paperback book. She has created a, um, a series of understanding of how a relationship can shift to the deeper roots of trust. And I know many of you have bought into the rhetoric that men are the leaders of the relationship and you should just be in your feminine, allow men to lead, you know, just allow them to lead. And ladies, men are bad at this. Women buy relationships book tenfold greater than men. You are the leaders of the emotional relationship. So my invitation for many of you, if not all of you, and I say many because some of you are doing the work I recommend, and by the way, all the books I suggest, there's a link to Jonathan recommended books along with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Because that's the empowered book. 
But you are the leader of the relationship, how of the emotional relationship. So how do you become his priority? You have to establish the roots of trust. And men have no fucking clue how to make this happen. They have no awareness around this. They know how to go to work, pay bills, and be the leaders from the provider protector perspective. And even most men in their 50s don't want to do that anymore. We've been conditioned from our caveman to do it. But psychologically speaking, a lot of guys are jaded, especially if they went through a bad divorce. So even that's not as prevalent for a 50-year-old man as maybe a 20-year-old guy. And this is why if you're going to allow the penis into the vagina, but this is allowing now, then start reading these amazing books to understand how to make love all the time, how to shift your relationship. And let me tell you this. If a guy is into you and you introduce this to him, he's going to want to do it. He's going to want to do it if he's genuinely into you. Only the men who are not into you don't want to do the work. And, and certainly men, men who are resistant to any type of co-creative relationship. A relationship is a two-lane street. It's co-creative. Any man who's resistant to it, especially men who resist doing therapy with their partner, is basically telling you, their partner, that you're not important. It's basically saying, I don't respect you. And I shot a video about respect recently. So if it's important to you, if it's important to you, then you have to be firm about this. Because firmness is how we respect you and how we make you a priority is when we respect you. And there's only way to, one, to, to develop respect in a relationship is develop the roots of trust. And most guys need a helping hand. Let me tell you, it took a woman to help break me open. And I'm telling you, ladies, you're going to have to break the guy open. But here's the benefit. If he's into you and you develop those roots to trust, you've got a solid relationship. And a solid relationship is the one that goes the distance. How do you make him see you as the number one priority? <laughs> you already got the answer to that. I, if you do have some questions, please post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, I do my best to read every single one of them. Um, in addition, if private coaching is out of your budget, then check out my VIP group. It's only $20 a month to have access to me on a regular basis through a, uh, through a private Facebook page and a, uh, three videos I shoot through a private group based on your questions. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.